Okay, we are going to be looking at ordinary least squares regressions or OLS regression. And this is going to be looking at a linear relationship between the dependent variable on the vertical axis and the independent variable on the horizontal axis. So our dependent variable is y, that's our dependent variable on the vertical axis. And on the horizontal axis, we have x, which is our independent variable. So sometimes we refer to the dependent variable as the explained variable and to the independent variable as the explanatory variable. So by way of example, perhaps the independent variable could be the return of our broad-based market index, for example, the S&P 500, and the dependent variable could be the return of a given stock, for example, Apple, right? So the hypothesis we are going to make here is that the stock market is the driver of stock returns, not the other way around. Okay, so we're going to prepare a scatter plot. So for example, we could say that when the market had, let's say, a return of plus 2%, the stock had a return of plus 3%, right? And so we've got a point on the scatter plot for that joint return. And we will, of course, have multiple points. We will have multiple points. We might discover that the relationship is positive or negative, or perhaps we might discover there is no relationship at all. We will draw a line of best fit. Now, remember, we are studying the concept of linear regression, although there are other types of regression, such as logarithmic regressions. But for the CFA program, we are studying linear regression. And of course, if I want to take you back to your primary school uh, mathematical knowledge, you will remember that the equation of a line will be y. And in this case, we're going to use y hat to denote that this is the predicted value of y. And that will be b0, the predicted value of the intercept, plus b1, or the predicted value of the slope times x. Right? So that's xi and yi. So the intercept is where our line, our regression line crosses the vertical y-axis. And the slope, the slope, my friends, is the rise over the run of the regression line. Right. So that's basically the gradient or the slope of the line and uh, mathematically we can calculate that as the covariance of x y so we're looking at how x and y are related via covariance and then we are dividing that by the variance of x okay so this formula will calculate the gradient or the slope of the line. But now one interesting question you might be asking yourselves is how do we know what intercept and slope values uh, to use? How do we know where to draw the regression line? Okay, so here I'm going to go back to the basics ordinary least squares regression. So this is OLS regression. What are we trying to do in this type of regression, my friends? We're trying to minimize the sum of squared errors. Notice here we're using the Greek letter epsilon. Epsilon stands for the error term or the residual term in the regression. So we're trying to minimize the sum of squared errors or sum of squared residuals. And this is a very, very important acronym in regression, which we're going to be referring to as the SSE. Now, if you want, we can also visualize the SSE 
on our regression line. So uh, we would take the actual observation and we will calculate the vertical distance between the actual observation and the regression line. So that is an error. So you could say that the error is the difference between the actual and the predicted. The difference between the actual and the predicted. Just like here, we will have a negative error because the observation point lies below the predicted line. Here's another positive error. Here's another negative error. 